Well, Sam Walker, last week at League One rivals Blackpool, this week at Wimbledon, have gloves, will travel. How did the move materialise? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a busy Christmas period for sure. Um, so yeah, I, I went up to Blackpool, did an emergency loan up there, uh, played a couple of games for them. Uh, the last one was actually away at Bristol Rovers, which is where we go on Tuesday. So um, yeah, got myself sort of back out there, uh, came back into Reading early part of this week uh, and heard of some interest from, from the club here. Um, and yeah, delighted to come and, and help out. And how much of the, the fact of moving into the new stadium at Plough Lane as well, did that influence your decision? Massively, yeah. I, I, I sort of obviously knew that that happened earlier in the season. Um, and as soon as the interest came about from Ashley Wimbledon, that's kind of one of the first things you think about is playing at a new stadium. Um, an exciting experience. Everyone here is very complimentary of it. And, and sort of say the only thing missing uh, is the fans, which, you know, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get back in before the end of the season. Absolutely, and as you say, an eventful Christmas as well. You had to have time away from the family. I suppose that's a little bit hard, but you just got to do it, yeah? Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I've got a young family at home. Uh, my wife's actually fairly heavily pregnant, so um, we've got that to contend with as well. So, yeah, it was, wasn't the most popular decision to head up to Blackpool for Christmas for a couple of games, but it was the right thing to do, and I'm, I'm glad I did it. And, and, yeah, it's presented this opportunity. Just going through your career, I mean, you switched from Millwall to Chelsea at a young age. What made you want to decide to become a goalkeeper? Well, I, I came into academy football quite late. Um, I think I was 14 when I went into Millwall um, and the, the Chelsea interest came about quite quickly uh, and it just sort of snowballed from there really. I think my size has always been the, the big factor that, you know, that was why I was stuck in goal in the first place when I was younger. Um, and yeah, like I say, it's rolled from there and I got an incredible sort of footballing education at Chelsea. Um, the facilities, the staff, everything there, the infrastructure is, is incredible. Uh, played a lot of games at a young age um, and, and became you know, experienced quite quickly. But you've also been out on loan situations in the past to places like Barnet, Yeovil, Colchester, clubs that where they've tried to escape from the, from the danger zone. What do you kind of need in those situations to do that? Yeah, exactly that. I, I sort of made a, a conscious decision after I'd done my youth team and, and played a few sort of reserve team games at Chelsea that I wanted to get out and, and get as many games as I can. And like you say, that did involve, um, you know, battles down towards the wrong end of the table with, with teams. I did it three times in Colchester with League One um, and haven't been relegated yet. So it's a good record. Um, and yeah, like I say, I know kind of what it takes to, to be down there. The pressure's on. Um, it's about staying organised and, and competing in every game um, and picking up results. And, and ultimately, if you can get one and then maybe two in a row, three in a row, um, you can really sort of propel yourself away from, from the danger zone. And you like to get yourself into a situation, into amongst a group as well, to early days here as well. How important is that getting to know your new teammates and projecting yourself? Very much so, yeah. I think it, you know it's the group that are going to get um, teams out of trouble. Um, and from everything that I've heard so far, I've just completed my first day. It seems like a really good group of lads. All the staff are very complimentary. Um, a young, hungry group. Um, you know, I like to think myself as still fairly young, but I've got a lot of experience. So hopefully, I can can uh, can come and bring that and use that and, and help the team. Any familiar faces you've come across before? Played against a few of the lads. Um, I've heard great things about Bezo, the goalkeeping coach. So I'm really looking forward to working with him. And yeah, played against a few of the lads in, in Leagues 1 and 2. Um, and, you know, a lot of quality. Um, I think there's a few lads that are local to where I grew up as well. So I'm looking forward to kind of getting to know everyone and, and moving from there. Of course, six foot six, that's, that's a considerable advantage yeah. you've got there. But also, what would you say your other strengths as a goalkeeper? I like to think the, the six foot th six kind of comes with the presence and the stature um, and sort of leading the back four. Um, you know, I'm, I like my distribution. I think that's a key part of my game. And, and like I say, being a presence around the goal, coming in command in the box. Um, and ultimately, you know, the less goals we can see as a team, the more chance we're going to have of, of moving ourselves up the table. So that's what I'm here to do. What's Glyn said that he wants from you on this loan spell? He wants me to come in and, and like I say, use that presence, use that experience that I've got. Um, you know, I've played a lot of games. Majority of my games in my career have been League One and Two. Um, so, you know, that's something that I can bring to the table and help command, you know, a younger team um, and, and, like I say, help move us away from, from that bottom end. And as you say, the GK Union we've got here as well, Ashley Bays, respected within the game as a goalkeeper coach. Two young goalkeepers as well. Are you looking forward to working with Very them? much so. Like, you know, I've just completed my first session there and the quality, the intensity is really high. Um, really enjoyed that first session. Bays, though, seems like a great guy. Um, and, and training with Nick and, and Zaki just there and I've heard big things about Coxie, the young lad as well. So I'm really looking forward to working with them and, and you know, learning from them and, and hopefully they can learn from me as well. Of course, the vast majority of your career you spent in the south of England, growing up sort of around the outside of, of AFC Wimbledon's story. 
how much were you were aware of it? Yeah, very much so. You know, I, I, I've, like I say, followed football all of my life, so so I know the story, I know the history, um, I know how proud the club are of of the sort of resurrection, if you like. Um, and you know, like I say, I'm delighted to be here. Rich history, rich footballing history with the new stadium, uh, and I'm here to help out as best I can. In terms of the pandemic as well. Um, Firstly, for yourself, of course, coping with that situation, but then, of course, as well, all our fans that who can't get into that new stadium at the moment. How much are you sort of keen to give to bring a bit of cheer for them? Massively so, yeah. You know, and like I say, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can we can look to try and get some fans back in before the end of the season. Um, but for the time being, that's not the case. Um, so it'll be our performances on the pitch on a Saturday or a Tuesday or whenever it is that kind of give that cheer and, and the results that come with that. Uh, and and that's what you know during these difficult times. It's been a, a difficult period for everyone for different reasons, um, and if we can if we can bring some cheer um, with good performances and good results, then uh, that's what we're here to do. And that first game as well could well be in the Papa John's Trophy against Bristol Rovers, one of your old clubs. Yes, Gaffer wants to make some progress in that competition. Yeah, definitely, very much so. Um, you know, we're all looking forward to going down there. Like I say, I was only down there. I mean, literally a week ago um, in the league with Blackpool. So back down there on Tuesday night uh, and looking forward to it because it's a competition where. If you do well, you get the chance to, to have a day out at Wembley, which you know every every player wants. Sam Walker, welcome to Wimbledon. No, thanks very much.